is Eve from marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com with a market update just about quarter after 11 on the 25th of January 2019. Reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. <clears throat> Strange business. Looked at a number of charts today tried to explain to our traders the rationale and, and the reason. <clears throat> we have put that in our notes. <clears throat> Usually the videos are, I try to sanitize them a bit so that we can share them with the public too. <clears throat> but the real intricacies and the whys and <clears throat> why I believe 72 was a target today. Um, we keep that obviously uh, for those who are subscribers to our system or obviously to uh, these courses that I run. <clears throat> so this is our current methodology. When we started today, we said that <clears throat> we can get into this box today with any good fortune. And a bot can probably do it easier than a human because most of us don't like the idea of buying high and selling higher. But we felt that the charts were supporting that idea to come up and test that 72 potentially and higher. Here's a 30 minute chart. We can see where it held overnight. Yesterday's low <clears throat> to close area. I said, okay, 34 should be the target, 32's 34 support. And then we hold and we come up <clears throat> and we ratchet higher. So these charts are like microscopes on the market. They're like a three minute chart. And then the 30 minute chart, it's like binoculars. <clears throat> you know, you've got to step back and you've got to, you've got to see it from a bigger perspective. That way you can understand potential resistance zones and target areas. <clears throat> I suggested that the 45 was a breakout. And if that holds, <coughs> we're going up and probably can test 72s today. And that was looking at this bigger look to help me get that feel. And <coughs> we suggested later in the day might have better odds for a short, maybe lunchtime, maybe the afternoon, but because we thought the agenda was to get it up here early <coughs> and then allow for some profit taking but still think it's supported. So we're going to use that idea of the 62 and the overnight high as an important support right now. If that breaks, then obviously we can come back and test below it. This is the RTH range. Stolen range this is our half gap support for now. Stolen ranges all the way from back here to up here. And that is how they create squeezes from traders who are unsophisticated and basically think we're too high, gotta go short. Not true, not, not on a <coughs> rabid dog day. And it's taken a long time to understand that. And obviously it takes me even longer to help share it with traders and get you to believe it, but we've seen it enough. Key zone for now, RTH pipe. It's a profit taking swing, all we know. And I said, very difficult to come backwards. You're going to guess wrong five times before right once. So if you trusted my judgment, make sure you paid by that 72 target, a <clears throat> couple ticks. This is an idea of risk and reward, profit taking. So that's the RTH chart. And this is today's chart. 
And I say that until this low back in here gets broken, the eye below, that's support. Shorts have to undo that. <clears throat> if they can do that and then obviously come back in here into the middle, <clears throat> that would be a fabulous trade for the shorts. And <clears throat> quite honestly, I'm not believing in that. Step by step, we're going to look at it. And if you've already had your good day, you don't need to do a thing. Yeah, you've already taken your risk and you've already got what you wanted. Natural retest would be that overnight high at 62. And may not even get that yet. May not be time to do that. <clears throat> may get it later. What time is it? Primary trade still has some more more to go. <clears throat> got the price target we've got, but not the time. Still, still not quite ready <clears throat> for a contra. So this is a smart traders taking profits idea. And let's go back and look at the RTH. <clears throat> coming into our red line, green, red, blue. Cle clearly a profit taking idea because we're testing the middle of our TH, right? Anybody gets to 64, <clears throat> you got into the 65 to 64 range, good for you. Great trade against this push. Paid for sure. Not an easy business. Game of inches. There's a five minute chart here. <clears throat> First time back, need to get paid. Now the question is, do we get some significant profit taking by the end of the day or not? And as a trader, you're not trying to guess every wiggle. What you are trying to do, take something out of the market every day. And that's what we have stressed. Much more important to do that than it is to try to guess every little wiggle. Here's your moonshot. Here's your profit taking. So focus on this range. Nothing else matters other than this range right now. <clears throat> Train your mind to understand. Targets down here don't matter. Targets up there don't matter. You've got to resolve the current range for RTH. And here's our angels and demons. And again, we know we've got others from the Globex session, meaning the larger range. But right now, <clears throat> this is what we're focused on, the smaller range. Much more important as a trader to focus on a current range. And then <clears throat> once we break, if we break that range, then you'll immediately start to sense the next targets below or above, depending on your other chart. <clears throat> so basis this range, this larger perspective, 62 and a quarter is a potential target. And if that's true, then you want to see that perspective then over here and say, okay, I get that. That would be a 456 if we're lucky.
Day is young yet. Still have a lot of trapped shorts. Needs to be a news event that undoes this. Otherwise, uh-uh. <clears throat> First time back, got to get paid coming into second line or trail. And then this relationship becomes important with the green line too. How to keep pressing down this way. <clears throat> And a reminder, we've got half gap support 48. If that breaks, anything goes. Shorts are on the hook until we take out high B low. Tall order. So fighting range, <clears throat> resistance zone, support zone. All right, add support, fighting, resistance. <clears throat> Anybody that nibbled backwards and got a little something here because we had our target risk and reward, two ticks, <clears throat> good for you. If you've been able to scrape, and we said today would be very hard, <clears throat> scrape your VIG out. If you can, get your four or five points. Don't look for extreme rotation backwards. Probably not going to get it. And so if you got something out of the morning already, lock it and <clears throat> decide whether you want to play again today. So we're using a notion of this zone right here as our key support. Until that breaks, that's support. All right, back here. <clears throat> a lot of time left in a day, so we shall see. And don't discount news. You know, every time you're staying, just sitting in the market, sitting in the market exposed, <clears throat> you're always exposed to some type of news event. It could happen quickly. <clears throat> so the real key is try to guess right as early as you can. We have suggested in this program, <clears throat> we try to guess the primary trade correctly. <clears throat> and that's the largest range in the morning trade from the 9.30 open <clears throat> until about 11.30, maximum 12 o'clock. <clears throat> if you can catch pieces of the move <clears throat> in the primary swing, primary trade, <clears throat> then you have won the day. And you've got the right to go out and play golf or do whatever you want. You don't have to do anything else. And the other trades are secondary, usually nowhere near <clears throat> as powerful or as good as that primary trade. And today, here is your primary trade, unless <clears throat> in the next uh, half hour, we would take out the low. So we did today what <clears throat> we wanted to do, which was try to get to that 72 area using support, multiple levels of support, but aggressively <clears throat> telling traders 52 to 55 is probably our support. <clears throat> and hopefully you can get up here to test 69 to 72 range. That's been done. If you've done that, you don't have to do anything else. Well, good. <clears throat> great question. Do you enter the trade on support, <clears throat> fight, or resistance zone? <clears throat> You're trying to look at the bigger picture and say, where do we think they're trying to get to? So 
on on the open today we said let's look at this chart right here like a five minute chart <clears throat> we're considering that the trend is already up and you want to rejoin that trend then we tighten it up to a three minute chart and we said right in here this 56 remember we said 56 was a flipper <clears throat> based on our model so 56 and a quarter was a flipper. And so you've got to use the support just underneath. So, so you're, if you believe that's where you're going, <clears throat> you've got to be buying this area right here, that breakout area, and then using a stop back here. And you're saying, I think we're going higher. And because we're coming into a moving very fast, but a fast moving average that's going up. So you're trying to buy <clears throat> this blue zone, this blue line to red line, and nobody knows till hindsight, but then we get the kick. And then we get our target step by step. So this is migrating backwards now to a little bit slower time frame, which it should. <clears throat> so now we can see the four minute chart. Well, very fast chart for Globex and then the five. <clears throat> and this is our base chart, but I'm sorry, not a base chart. This is our fast chart. This is better for pace, <clears throat> but we like the 15. <clears throat> so as long as we're above the blue line, we're going upside. As long as this is above the rain line. Boom, boom, 15. You can see the support. Just gotta believe in the trade. <clears throat> so being our base chart, this tells me we're still got a little bit of air here, <clears throat> but I'm gonna probably think about this as <clears throat> still fairly choppy and hard to get backwards, the kind of trade that traders really would love to see as a short. But it tells me we've got to bust this 61, 62 area, and then, <clears throat> then you can come back in and perhaps come back in where we said support was over here. Sequence trade. <clears throat> so I, I'm looking at this as smart longs just capturing profits. And can it be more than that? Of course. But today was a squeeze day and until we break I below, we have to assume that it's a range type trade. Hope that helps.